guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we're gonna to be talking about my current favorite products. I don't usually do favorites videos this close to one another because I did just post one I think like two months ago now, but there are so many things that I've really been loving that I wanted to film an update, even though I still am obsessed with everything that I shared in the last video. So if you haven't seen my last favorites video, I will list that below, definitely check that out. But if you would like to see some more things I've been loving, you've come to the right spot. Let's jump into it. All right, starting off with skincare, my first favorite is the Rovectin Skin Essentials Barrier Repair Aqua Concentrate, which is a moisturizer that I've been loving. And this portion of the video is actually in partnership with Rovectin, which I'm super excited about because I just talked about this product relatively recently on my channel in the video where I talked about moisturizers that I am loving. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I will list it below. Otherwise, I'm going to share some quick details about why I love this so much right here right now. This moisturizer contains a barrier repair complex, something that they call an Astacel fortifier and their trademarked silky shielding base. The barrier repair complex is intended to fortify, protect, hydrate, and moisturize your skin barrier and this has tons of ingredients to help to achieve that benefit. This contains niacinamide, ceramide NP, panthenol, multiple forms of hyaluronic acid, tons of nourishing oils like sunflower seed oil, avocado oil, Oil, sweet almond oil, and some of my all-time favorite soothing, calming, and protective ingredients like elantoin and bisabolol. The Astacel Fortifier is an ingredient called astaxanthin, which is a powerful antioxidant that's supposed to be 550 times stronger than vitamin E, so we love that. And as far as their silky shielding base goes, I can definitely attest to that. That is one of the main reasons why I included this in my moisturizer favorites videos. I just love the way that this feels and sinks into the skin and pairs with makeup on top of it. It's super lightweight, so it definitely does absorb quickly and it doesn't feel heavy or greasy on the skin, but it has that nice like silky feel and enough of a moisturizing quality to leave my skin feeling moisturized all day and not like I just applied a serum and still need more moisturizer. I feel like it can be difficult to find a moisturizer that's moisturizing enough, but also pairs really well with sunscreen and makeup on top. And this does all of those things. It really does work well with additional products layered on top. It doesn't make my skin look greasy but it just makes it look really healthy and perfectly hydrated. So definitely check this out if you're in the market for a new moisturizer. And while you're at it, check out some of their other products because Rovectin really does have some incredible products. My other personal favorite from them is their Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion, which is not actually a lotion in the way that you would normally think. It is a serum, if you can see here from the bottle. I don't actually know if you can see that. There we go. And I honestly don't know if I have ever tried another serum like this that makes my skin look so, so plump and hydrated. Like this is one of those products that is perfect for a no makeup makeup day when I just want sunscreen on and I want my skin to look juicy because boy, does it do that. This has seven forms of hyaluronic acid, a ton of other hydrating ingredients like arginine, sugar molecules. It has panthenol, niacinamide, it is stacked. All right, thank you so much to Revectin for partnering with me on that portion of today's video. Let's move along to the rest of my favorites. The other skincare product that I have been loving recently is something that I've talked about many times before, but something I feel like I just have re-fallen in love with, and it is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Sunscreen. This is a combination sunscreen. The active ingredients are zinc oxide and octadoxate, and this also has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. The reason why I love this so much is definitely because of the texture of it. It's something that feels unique. It has like a velvety quality to it. It's so, so soft and silky on the skin and it leaves my skin looking really nice and glowy, but not greasy like so many sunscreens do. It is one of those sunscreens that looks like it has a white cast initially, but when I let it absorb into my skin, the white cast fully disappears and it just ends up being a transparent sunscreen on me. But the other reason why I've been loving this so much is because it wears so, so well with makeup. That is definitely a question I'm asked a lot. Which sunscreen would I recommend if you're going to be applying makeup on top of it? And this is definitely one of those. I recently was filming a video where I needed to make sure that my base was consistent to make sure that my results were fairly compared. So this is the sunscreen that I chose to wear because I knew that it wouldn't let me down and my makeup would look amazing. There's just something about the silky velvety feel of this that makes makeup glide beautifully on top of it and look so, so nice without looking greasy. So yeah, I 
I don't know. I've been loving it. Check it out. If you want 20% off, I have a link in my description box. All right, let's stay in the skincare family, but move on to body care next. If you watched my last video, then you will know that I have been loving the OGX Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash simply because it smells like birthday cake. What the heck? Like this is cake. It smells so delicious, but not like so cakey that it's disgustingly sugary. It's like fresh, light cake. I love it. But this was already featured in my last favorites video. So, I mean, I'm kind of repeating it. Like I'll still link it below cause I love it so much, but I wanted to bring that up because since I have been so into the birthday cake scented body care, it would make sense that I have also fallen in love with this product right here, which is the Hemp's Buttercream Birthday Cake Herbal Body Moisturizer. You guys know that I am addicted to Hemp's lotions. They are easily one of my all time favorite body lotions. Actually, I think I can say it's my favorite body lotion because like everything else I love so much is a cream or a body butter. So for a lightweight body lotion, Hemp's is where it's at. And this scent, you guys. Also, I could not get this plastic wrapping off of this and it's been driving me insane. Ooh. But this is almost empty, so I'll just buy a new one next. Yum. It really smells just like the OGX body wash. And OGX actually does have a body lotion in that same scent. But when I checked Amazon, because it wasn't sold at like Target or anything like that, it was so, so expensive. I think just probably because they don't have a high stock of it. And I feel like I haven't had great luck with OGX body lotions where they're like a little bit difficult to rub in. So I would go the hemp's route if you are in the mood to smell like delicious vanilla cake with sprinkles. Cause like you can just tell this has sprinkles on it even though sprinkles don't have a smell. And my last skincare favorite is the Charlotte's Magic Body Cream. This is a newer launch from them that was specifically designed to give you that like Hollywood glamorous red carpet glow, which is the exact reason why I've been loving this so much. So this is not really a body cream. Well, not, not really. It's not a body cream that I use all over my body because it gives you a very radiant glow it's really something that I just use on like my shoulders, my upper arms, my neck, my chest to really enhance the glow of my skin. It's perfect for special events or not special events if you just want to look glowy. It's just absolutely beautiful. And you guys know I really love body glow, but a lot of body glow products are either oils or like sticks that you rub all over. So if you don't want to mess with things like that, things that may feel a little bit greasy or kind of get messy on your clothes, then I would definitely go this route because of course it's a body cream. So it'll absorb nicely, but still give you that really, really beautiful beaming skin. Oh, and the fragrance of this one is like a really light rose if you're curious. All right, let's move on to hair care. Everything I have is actually a styling product, which I feel like is very unlike me. For so long, I was testing out so many products like repair products or shampoos and conditioners or oils and things that just like condition and soften and you know, all the things that conditioners and products like that do. So I wasn't really paying as much attention to styling products, but now I feel like I'm in that era and I have some things I wanna share. Okay, this one is actually not new. I have recommended this before, but I have found a new appreciation for it. It is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Infusion Oil and Salt Infused Spray. So it's like a sea salt spray that also has oil in it. And I used to really love this when I wore waved hair more. So before I had all of my heatless curl accessories, I would often wet my hair before bed, braid it, then have wavy hair the next day and spray this in it to kind of help to like zhuzh it up, give it some texture, add some shine and give it a little bit more volume. But I haven't been wearing that hairstyle recently because I have been rocking heatless curls so often. And when I do heatless curls, usually I don't have a problem, but sometimes if my hair is too wet or I'm testing out a new accessory or my hair just doesn't feel like behaving, I will wake up and it just like didn't work. The curls didn't happen. For some reason, something went wrong and I'll have these like weird waves that aren't uniform, not the look I'm going for. So then I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do to fix this? That's when I reach for something like this. I will spray this all over, scrunch my hair up and it will add beautiful wave and just like a tousled look to my hair and save the day really great. Next is the Color Wow Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray, which is a volumizing spray intended to be used on flat hair. But I saw an article that said that this could be used as an alternative to dry shampoo while also giving you volume. And I was like, what? 
so I had to try it. And at first I was like, uh, I'm nervous about this because I sprayed it all over my hair and my hair looked wet and a little bit dirty and greasy. So I was stressed, but once I applied that all over and then did a quick blow dry on my roots, I was shocked. It totally refreshed my hair and absorbed the oil, but also added beautiful volume with no residue, no weird feel, no white cast, of course, because it's not a dry shampoo. It really, it worked amazingly. I was very excited. So if you are somebody that can't stand the feel of a dry shampoo that has really dark hair and white cast show up easily, or that maybe just wants to try something different, get nicer volume, less residue, try this out. My last hair favorite is the IGK Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. This is something that is supposed to offer 24 hour frizz control and it's also a 450 degree heat protectant. This has been my favorite to apply to my hair if I am going to be heat curling my hair a few days after I wash it because of course you're going to want to reapply heat protectant but at that point if I already have a good amount of product on my hair I may not want to use a regular like spray wet heat protectant because it could just make my hair feel too weighed down and too gunked up with product. So the reason why something like this is amazing is because it's an aerosol mist. So it's incredibly lightweight. It doesn't weigh the hair down and it also doesn't leave any texture in my hair, but then I'm also getting the benefit of it helping to smooth my hair which is great. So if you are looking for a super lightweight heat protectant to use in a similar way and you deal with frizz, I would definitely recommend this. I feel like that was so weird with my finger there. I don't know what that was. And last is something that I was sent in PR that I have been using so often. It is the T3, actually, I don't know the official name of this, hold on. It's called the T3 Switch Kit and they have a switch kit for curls and for waves. And each kit comes with a base and then three different barrels that you can attach for different sized curls and waves. Genius. So here are some of the different barrel options that they have for these trios. And I love that there's a combination of barrels with clamps, barrels without clamps, and different shapes and sizes. So you can get a lot of variety in the looks that you create. I almost always reach for something like this over curling with a Dyson Airwrap or the Shark Flex style. I usually will curl my hair the day after I wash it or like later in the week after I wash. So at that point, my hair is already dry. I don't need the benefit of drying it. And then when it comes down to curling, I think a curling iron gives a better, longer lasting result than the Dyson or the Shark. There's just something about a regular curling iron that works better for style longevity than the Dyson or Shark. Even though those tools give beautiful results, I think almost everybody knows that they don't last very long for whatever reason. And for me, a curling iron is the way to go if I'm looking for my curls to last. So whenever I'm not doing heatless curls, I am pretty much always using this switch kit. All right, let's move on to makeup favorites. First step is not actually a product, but an attachment to a product is this Elsie hair. And it is a pump that I found on Amazon for my beloved L'Oreal Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. <gasps> Is this not the biggest game changer ever? I have seen so many comments from you guys saying that you love this product, but you refuse to use it because of the dropper packaging and how messy it is. Uh, this saves the day. So this came in a two pack on Amazon and I will just take them out and replace them whenever I will not replace. I'll take it out and then put it in my new foundation when I run out of one and buy a new one but still want the pump, I think you get what I'm saying. And I mean, what else is there to say about a pump? It works, no more mess, we love it. Next up is the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer, but not for concealer. I reviewed this in my last What's New at the Drugstore Makeup Edition video, and I told you guys that I was loving using this as a bronzer, and that's why I'm including it in this video. So I have the shade tan to deep and I think that this is so so beautiful as a cream contour or a cream bronzer. I personally use it to bronze. Wait this is the right shade for that. Yes wanted to make sure. And the texture of this is just perfect for cream bronzing and contouring. It's incredibly lightweight. It almost feels like water so it's super blendable. It doesn't look or feel heavy or muddy on the skin. 
and it lasts forever with just like a really beautiful natural glow. So I've been obsessed with this. I've been wearing it all the time. I feel like this is better than a lot of high-end liquid bronzers I've tried. I would definitely recommend. The other Physicians Formula product I have been loving is their new Butter Glow Pressed Powder. So this one is in the shade Translucent Glow, and this is a setting powder that I like to use all over my face if I want to set everything in place but with a nice luminous finish. Not the kind of luminous that is glittery or highlightery because I don't get that effect with this. It's just like a soft focused diffused finish that has some radiance instead of it looking really flat and matte. I just think it's beautiful. It really reminds me of something like the Hourglass Ambient Setting Powders where again, the goal is to get like a glowy finish with a setting powder, but now you can do that for not so expensive. Out of all of my makeup categories, I have definitely been purchasing blush the most. I've just been having so much fun testing out different formulas and shades, and I have been in love with the Pat McGrath blushes. I've talked about this shade a few times already. It is Divine Rose, which is the most beautiful, slightly cool toned pink. It is so, so pretty. And these blushes, they just have the perfect formula for me. They're buildable, they're blendable, they last a super long time and they meld, melt, mesh, one of those, into the skin beautifully. They have like a natural matte finish unless you go for one of the more shimmery options then it'll give you a glow. But there's just something about the way that it sinks into my skin that I feel like just looks so nice. And the shades are freaking beautiful. So I've talked to you guys about this one in a couple videos recently. It's Divine Rose and it's divine. It's such a beautiful mid-toned, slightly cool toned pink. Oh my gosh. I also have the shade uh, Flirtatious, which is a really beautiful light beige and one that is a little bit brighter called Nymphette right here. Oh. So that has more of that like luminous sheen. And I have also really been loving pink blushes, which you will know if you saw my recent video where I compared seven, yeah, seven viral pink blushes. I told you I'm just in a blush era. And one that I've really been loving is the One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio in Attention Seeker, which is such a gorgeous, cool toned pink trio with a cream blush, a powder blush, and a highlight. This is just such a gorgeous shade. And another reason why I've really been loving this is because I have been using the powder blush in the middle here, yuck, that mirror's so dirty, to create pink setting powder for under my eyes. If you've been on TikTok recently, then you have probably seen somebody apply something pink under their eye area. People are using pink cream blushes, pink concealers, pink setting powders. Everyone's loving it. And I do think that when done in the right way, it can look really, really beautiful. I just don't like the look of a really intensely highlighted under eye area like that used to be trendy several years ago. It doesn't look right on me. I don't like the look of it anymore. So I like that we're transitioning into different, I don't know, like trends under the eyes. I feel like I don't need to purchase a separate powder or concealer or blush or anything like that for my under eyes because I already have so many blushes that I can use. So I wanted to try mixing this powder right here with my normal setting powder, the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. You guys know I'm obsessed with this powder. I wanted to use this for this purpose because it has a sifter so I could like mix my blush in with it, but you could really use any setting powder. I just pick up a little bit of this, mix it in with my powder and then apply that under the eyes. And there you go. There's your pink under eye no need to buy a separate product. And while we are at it, the brush that I have been loving for under eyes is the Real Techniques 242 brush. This originally went viral because people were loving it for concealer application, and it's definitely something you can use for that. It works beautifully, but I have been loving this for powder setting application on top of concealer. Something about the way that these bristles are laid just works so, so well for applying under the eyes. It packs in product perfectly without it being too much, but it like hugs your under eye area really well so that you don't miss any areas and end up with creasy concealer. So good. Next up is a product that I have not been using for its intended purpose. It is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. This came out last year. It is 
Ace, okay. <laughs> Setting powder that has three different shades in it, as you can see. And I would say like a slightly highlightery overlay. Definitely one of those powders that's intended to enhance your skin's glow, but I know a lot of people weren't a huge fan of this one because they felt like it was just too much. While I thought that it did look pretty as a setting powder, it definitely was not my favorite setting powder. So I just reached for it less and less over time until I realized I wasn't using it all anymore. So one day I was looking at this and I was like, this would be something that could potentially be really pretty as eyeshadow because it's not completely matte. It has that like sheeny luminosity to it, but it's not super glittery. So I tried it out and I am obsessed. Okay. So I have been mixing these three shades together and applying that all over my lid up to my brow bone almost every single time that I do my eye makeup. And you guys know that that is a big deal for me because I used to only ever put a skin toned color shadow on my lid before I applied my brown twinked liner. That was all I did for like almost two years, I feel like. So that means that I am really loving this if I am putting it in a favorites video and stepping outside my comfort zone in that region of my face for makeup. I just think it looks beautiful in that way and it really helps to just like bring a little bit of dimension to the eyes without it looking like you're wearing eyeshadow, you know? So I think that this would be perfect for those of you that wanna do something like that, just kind of balance out the shadows on your face, but you don't want to buy eyeshadow, you don't want to wear eyeshadow. It's a more natural way to do that. It looks so pretty and soft and the tone is perfect. I really like that this has the three tones because you can kind of mix and match and go heavier with a certain shade depending on what your skin tone is. And they do have several other shades in this powder as well. So this is not the only one, but then you can also go ahead and swirl this together to use it as a bronzer. One last eye product. Well, I have several shades, but it's the same product. It is the Hourglass Voyeur Eyeshadow Stick. These were recently sent to me in PR and I was immediately obsessed because of the fact that they are so dry touch. I never wore eyeshadow sticks prior to this because I felt like so many of them were too creamy and creased or they would make my mascara smudge or my liner fade and that simply won't do. So these are my four favorite shades from the bunch. From this side to this side, we have the shades Prism, Moon, Solstice, and Equinox. Such beautiful shades. I feel like that's something that is also kind of difficult for me to find in a cream shadow, a shade that actually isn't like too intense, too bold, is really nice and wearable, but still like, I don't know, just these are beautiful. I love these, I'm really excited about them. If you love a cream shadow or you've been trying to find a cream shadow that works really well for you, Hourglass. I wanna just quickly give this a mention again. I know that I included this in my last favorites video, but this is my favorite lipstick ever right now. It is the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine and it is absolutely out of this world stunning. Oh, let's not swatch on that hand. I realized in a recent video, okay, let me do this like here first. I realized in a recent video that this was reminding me of MAC Modesty, so I swatched it next to MAC Modesty and um, it is the same as MAC Modesty. <laughs> it's just more sheer than that lipstick and definitely shinier in finish as well which is why I love it so much because sheer shiny lips are where it's at. So if you have ever tried MAC Modesty and you want a less pigmented, shinier version of it, like every time I open my lipstick drawer, I'm like, well, I can't wear anything else now that I have this. And I also have been loving layering with this. So I'll put this on first, put another shinier product on top, like a gloss or the Makeup by Mario lip serums. This one is in Pink Glow and it's the combination I'm wearing today. I just love it. It looks perfect with everything I put on top of it. It just slightly manipulates the color. Okay, let's wrap up with three miscellaneous favorites. First is a headband that I have worn in recently recent videos and a lot of you have asked, what is that headband? Where did you get it? It is the brand Ceremonia. You can get it at Revolve. I think a couple other retailers as well. I love this. I mean, for me as a content creator, because it keeps my hair back when I am trying to film footage of me applying skincare or makeup. But if you want a headband when you're just doing skincare or makeup in your own home and not filming yourself like a freak, this is where it's at. I know that that like big poofy headband went viral. I was wearing that for years. Like I feel like since the start of my TikTok, that was like the headband I wore. 
I like this so much better. It's so cute. It's like satiny and braided. This is super random, but I have been on the hunt for a pair of shorts that are comfortable, but not like pajama comfortable. Like I wanted them to be shorts I could wear out in public on a walk or running to the grocery store. That like level of short where it's comfy and casual, but not too comfy and casual, but I didn't want like a fancier short. <laughs> and a material that was a little bit thicker with a high rise and a long enough leg length. And that had become impossible for me to find. I just couldn't find it anywhere until now. I found these at Target a few weeks ago. They are the All in Motion High Rise three and a half inch shorts. And I purchased the only size smalls that they had in store there, which was a few of them. So I got a couple black pairs and a white pair. And then I came home and immediately ordered a few more black pairs and a gray pair because I will be living in these this summer. Mark my words, every time I'm on a walk, if I don't feel like wearing bike shorts, I will be in these. They're comfy, they're affordable, they're high rise enough for a tall gal like myself. They're long enough for a tall gal like myself, but they're also not gonna be too long on you if you're not five foot 10 and a half. They're just perfect. I am so excited I found these and I have a strong inkling that they will sell out because this is the type of thing that I can imagine other people are looking for. I can't be the only one. So I feel like if you're interested, you should buy right now while it's still early in the season because I have a feeling they're gonna be out for a while. And of course, I have to include a book. I unfortunately only have one book to share because I haven't been reading as much as I was previously given that I am in my trichology certification studying right now. I basically read for that and study for that all weekend, every weekend. So not as much time to read, but we'll get back to more book recommendations at some point. For now, I have to recommend The Housemaid. This was the best thriller that I had read in a long, long time. The second that I started reading it, I couldn't put it down. I finished it in just a couple days, flew through it. I was just so, I don't know, like engrossed in it. Is that the right word? And I feel like that's all you need to know. If you're in the mood for a really good, can't put it down kind of thriller, here you go, The Housemaid. And they actually have a sequel maybe a third one as well. Maybe not, but I bought the sequel. I haven't read it yet, but I bought it and I'm really excited for that. All right, you guys, we're gonna wrap up this video here because those are all of my current favorites. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you're gonna pick anything up after watching this video, of course, let me know what that is or what those are, if it's more than one product. I'll have everything listed and linked in order of mention in my description box below as always. If there's anything you've been loving that I didn't mention, let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days.